the latest on the search for seven-year-old Kyron Horman. Police in Portland, Oregon this morning say that they're still concentrating on the area where he was last seen. Early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman has the latest. It has been nearly a week since Kyron Horman vanished from his elementary school. This morning, hundreds of experts will join forces with investigators from 22 agencies in a desperate search. Officials admit the clock is ticking. We're moving forward under the premise that we're looking for a, a living Kyra Norman. And, that, and so that's their job, that's their function. FBI agents have stopped cars. Others search the rugged, densely covered hillsides around the school. Kyra! Kyron's stepmom says she snapped this picture of him at the school's science fair Friday and then left him in the building. He never made it to his first class. He was reported missing seven hours later when he wasn't on the school bus. His parents are talking to police, but not to the press. Wednesday, they said through a spokesperson they want to keep the focus on their son. I stand here in front of you today because I carry the burden of the sadness and the pain that they're experiencing. Investigators have interviewed 90% of the students who attend this school and their parents to see if any of them saw Kyron on Friday. I'm feeling really, really sad, and I'm hoping that Kyron, my best friend, would come back. This is something that you never want to happen to anyone. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Portland, Oregon. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.